Right, this is about assigning array variables and um, if the array is not an array of primitive type it follows the same rules as ordinary assignment. So um, size in particular, size of the array, that's completely irrelevant to whether the assignment is OK or not. That means that um, if you have a, uh, some variable which is an array of some subclass, you can assign that to another variable which is an array of a superclass of that particular class, subclass. Also, um, an array of some type which uh, implements uh, some interface, some class rather which implements an interface, can be assigned to an array of that interface type, a variable that's an array of that interface type. Okay, so uh, that's all a bit complicated. So make it clearer, here's an example. Um, I've put this all on one line to get everything in, by the way. Um, so we've got a uh, class here, uh, an interface there. We've got another class which extends that and implements that. And we've got a completely separate class there. And here's uh, some array variables I've created. Uh, and I've put something in them. Uh, size of that, and that is uh, completely irrelevant. Um, and, uh, oh, by the way, I, I could have used I there. Um, uh, that's because what I'm doing is I'm doing new for um, an array, not new for an interface. Because you can't do new for an interface, but you can, in this case, do new for an array of interface type. Right, um, here's, uh, here's the first example. Let's look at um, i equals new c2. That fails. That fails because, because um, the class c doesn't implement i, so that's not going to work. They get a compiler error. Uh, this, which is uh, just um, going up, is uh, is uh, up the tree, you like, is uh, is quite okay because um, S implements I, so you can certainly do that assignment without any problems. And uh, similarly, S extends C, so you can do that assignment with no problems. Now, if you want to go down this. Uh, tree of classes, you're going to need a, a cast. So you can't say S equals C because it's going down the tree, you're going to need to put a, a cast in. And uh, that's how you do a cast for an array. Um, similarly, uh, because in this case um, uh, it will work because um, uh, C contains S and S implements I, so that will work as well. This, however, although it will compile, it won't work at runtime because uh, B doesn't implement I, so that will fail. And uh, that's got that in, that's what's in B. Uh, right, now um, arrays are objects, so uh, you can certainly do that. Um, likewise, um, arrays of uh, reference type can certainly be thought of as a arrays of object. Just to make it a bit more tricky, I've deliberately put the brackets on this side so you wouldn't spot it. Because if you think about it, um, S extends C and C eventually goes up to object. So this is just like assigning C equals S it's going right up to the top of the tree. So, uh, likewise for I, you can do you can do that because um, um, I is a in, an array of um, interface type, and uh, that's a reference. So you can certainly uh, do the assignment right up to the top of the tree like that. If you want to come, if you want to to go the other way. Uh, you of course you're going to need a cast just like that, as you might expect, and uh, all that works just as you can imagine.